It's very hard to see that and hard to process that a person would just take off like that. Now at 530, the search for a hit and run driver. Surveillance video captures the crime and the car police are now searching for. Police just released a flyer hoping it will help bring them new information in this case. CBS Force Peter Danch is live tonight in Little Havana with the details of this hit and run. Peter. Well, Elliot Lauren, the victim's grandchild, says she is doing better after surgery for a fractured hip. I'm told that she was coming home from a nearby pharmacy and was crossing the street when she was struck. Now Miami police are not only releasing that brand new flyer, they're joining the victim's family and asking for the public's help. It's very hard to see that and hard to process that a person would just take off like that. The grandchild of Edelmira Berrios cannot shake the images of her being struck by this hit and run driver. We freeze this video before impact. She was crossing the street and a car took a stop sign and ended up striking her and they just left. It happens just after six Tuesday night. Now Miami police have released this flyer showing a photo of the 77 year old victim and a clear image of the white four door infinity that hit her and took off. Surveillance tape from a neighbor shows the infinity pausing briefly and then leaving the scene. Another image shows the car turning at Northwest 26th Avenue and First Street. She just Cry, was crying for help. Luckily, someone came uh, to assist her, but we know that there's someone out there who we are considering heartless who has yet to come forward. The accident left Barrios with a fractured hip. It hurts a lot, um, especially walking into the hospital and actually like feeling everything. Um, but hopefully she recovers well. Police are alarmed by the rise in hit and run accidents like this one. That driver, failure to render aid to call for 911 for help is what makes the case so much more difficult and criminal. So if you stay on the scene, you may very well not even be at fault. But the fact that the person leaves the scene of an accident is what makes this criminal and not only criminal, but also very dangerous. Police hope this new flyer will generate some calls. We believe that the car may have a uh, slight front damage. If you know anything or if you've seen a white infinity around the area, um, just call it in. Well, the victim's grandchild right there says she could be in the hospital for at least a week and will need physical therapy. In the meantime, a GoFundMe page has been set up to help with her medical expenses. If you can help Miami Police with this case and recognize that white infinity that took off, call them or Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Miami. Peter Nench, CBS 4 News. Peter, hopefully those tips start flowing in. Thank yeah, you. Hard to believe people can drive away like that. Peter, thank you.